Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel and I'm going to get right down to it because that was an absolute farce. Chelsea lost 1-0 uh, again against... Chelsea lost again, 1-0 uh, to Wolves this time away. A uh, very poor Wolves team, but they scored an absolute screamer and, you know, Chelsea didn't even create a chance. Can't even remember uh, a shot, a clear-cut shot or a chance on target. Uh, Jose Sarma as well, you know, rolled up a cigarette and smoked the whole game because we did nothing. But yeah, it's just been abysmal. I mean, first half, I thought Wolves came out uh, out the traps, very energetic. They closed us down. They put pressure on us. They gave us no time. They smothered the ball. Um, and we just didn't have a plan. We looked lethargic. We looked one step behind. We looked like we couldn't care less. The bad attitude across the team today from every single player. I can't even name you someone that I thought played well, maybe Fafana. Um, but it's just all of them were shocking. And it's been a it's, some of these performances this season have been absolutely disgraceful. And it's been consistent. These have been consistently disgusting performances. They're dropping week in, week out. And it's just not on for a club of Chelsea sort of standards. I can accept, you know, some seasons you're poor, you lose games because, you know, everyone that supports and watches football wants their team to win. Like, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that Chelsea have this right to win. But what I expect is players and that to give everything for the shirt and they just aren't. And that is what is the most shocking thing to me, I think, about this season is time and time again, you can go and post your generic social media posts about, oh, the boys gave everything or whatever. But in reality, fans can see straight through that because it's shocking. Um, I've just got not really anything positive to say. The only positive I'd say is that we've got club legend in Frank Lampard back where it actually makes it worth it for us fans to go and sort of support someone who knows what it means to be Chelsea uh, because these players at the moment don't. Um, I thought the, that that feeling you get when you lose and you've played well, you can take. But this now has become so used to losing without actually doing anything or giving it even, you know, it's the lack of effort really that really, really grates me. Um, I thought that there's no like direction. Uh, we said this under Potter, there's no direction, there's no tactical sort of, you know, where you look at Chelsea and you're like, yeah, that's great build-up play. You can see what they're trying to do there. They're trying to attack quickly, hit on the counter. It just looks like, yeah, just don't have a clue. These are professional footballers and they don't have a clue. And yeah, you can say some of that's down to the manager, but we've had three managers this season and it's all looked the same. So I think to me, these the responsibility is heavily weighted on these players now. And some of them need to buck up their ideas because they're just... They're not Chelsea players. They're not. They're not good. Some of them aren't good enough, and we've spent billions on them. Um, some of them are good enough, but just look like they couldn't give a, a damn. To be honest, um, it's it's yeah, it's it's not good. Um, I just can't wait for this season to end. To be honest, I can't really see any positives, barring Super Frank being back. And uh, yeah, we love him. And you can you you know you see a lot of people now like. Oh, what the hell? Like, why they pointed him? He got Everton nearly relegated, blah, blah, blah. But the point is, after such a dismal season, the reason why we're so happy to have Frank at the helm is because he's someone we relate to. And although you can say people forget, actually, in that season where he got sacked, the season before, he had a transfer ban. He brought through youngsters who actually cared about Chelsea. And for once, watching that season under Lampard, they just felt like this connection was there between the players, the club and the fans. And I haven't felt like that since really. I mean, sometimes with Tuchel, Tuchel got it. Um, but that's why we're happy. We just want to see a bit of fight and someone who cares about Chelsea football club. And we Frank, well, you know, Frank does that. I just wish that some of these players felt the same. Um, but yeah, short and sweet today. Uh, there's not really much I can say about that. I thought, you know, Wolves, for a team that are uh, fighting sort of relegation, I thought they uh, did what they needed to do. And we couldn't, you know, I mean, as soon as we go 1-0 down, that's it. I mean, that's game over because we, we can't score a goal, let alone two.
Um, I can't, we, we're lucky to get a shot on target today, which was Felix from 40 yards out, um, straight at Jose Sar. So, yeah, abysmal, absolutely abysmal. Um, I can't see us, you know, not conceding quite a few at the Bernabeu on Wednesday. Um, and yeah, in our next few games left in the remaining of the season, we've got Newcastle home last game of the season, we've got to play Man United, Old Trafford, we've got to play Arsenal at the Emirates. Uh, we've got to play City at the Etihad. Um, and it, yeah, it's not looking good. 